An upstate man spent three weeks at the Augusta Burns Center after a fire, and today he was reunited with the crew that he says helped save his life. Our Taylor Farmer has the story. Earlier this year, a man was provided life-saving care after fire quickly spread across his yard. At the time, he laid here in the back of this helicopter, unsure of his days ahead. It was New Year's Day this year when Keith Harmon was burning Christmas boxes in his backyard in Duncan. He says some grass caught fire and the flames immediately started to spread. While trying to extinguish it to protect the property and all that, um, I got severely burned. Harmon was burned on his hands, legs and face. A flight crew transported Harmon from the Prisma Health Greer Memorial Hospital to the burn center in Augusta for emergency surgery. Probably took us about 30 to 35 minutes to do that. Harmon says while being airlifted, he doesn't remember much, but he hasn't forgotten the feeling of when everything around him went up in flames. I was scared to death that I was going to burn down an entire neighborhood. Harmon spent 21 days at the burn center. The next few weeks he describes as extremely tough. It was tough, very tough. Two surgeries, skin grafts, um, being around people that were in the same situation as me. Some, quite honestly, a lot worse. A few months later, Harmon says he's lucky to be able to reunite and thank those who administered him care that day. Hey, I'm nice Keith. To nice, nice to meet you, you again. Toby, yeah. Yeah. Toby. Very nice to Thanks you. for the flight. Yeah, no problem. Justin. Justin, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate everything you guys did, man. The flight crew consisting of a pilot, paramedic, and a nurse says the people they load up in their helicopter are often experiencing one of their worst days. They tell me they're thankful when and if they get to see that patient again with a smile on their face. So when we do get to meet someone that, that we served and they're appreciative of the help, it just it gives us a it's a big morale boost to help us keep going. Um, we're extremely thankful and, and proud to serve the community that, that we, we all live in. Harmon has fully recovered and says he's thankful for the care he received. In Pickens County, Taylor Farmer, 7 News.